Good morning. What happens when God screws in a light bulb? Let's read from the Bible and find out. We're looking today at Mark 4, verse 21 through 25. Let's see what the Bible says. Also he said to them, and this he is Jesus, Is a lamp brought to be put under a basket or under a bed? Is it not to be set on a lampstand? For there is nothing hidden which will not be revealed, nor has anything been kept secret, but that it should come to light. If anyone has ears to hear, let him hear. Then he said to them, Take heed what you hear. With the same measure you use, it will be measured to you, and to you who hear, more will be given. For whoever has, to him more will be given, but whoever does not have, even what he has will be taken away from him. What happens when God screws in a light bulb? Well, what you see here is God provides his church as a light. Jesus comes as a light. Every All of his prophets come and bring light. His kingdom is a kingdom of light. In other words, God, through his kingdom, is bringing, he is revealing to the world uh, truth. And the world is trapped in its own kind of plan, its own messed up understanding of today very much a world where supposedly there is no God and all these things just sort of randomly happen. I know it's kind of hard to hard to look at the math on that, but but that's what many people have been led to believe and they haven't looked seriously at this. Notice what you have here that there's nothing hidden that will not be revealed. And what's actually been happening since the very beginning of humans on planet Earth and the fall of man is that God has been laboring to reveal to us his truth. He's been trying to show us what it means to be human. What is it like when we follow the designer's plan as the designed creature? What happens then? So we want to be on that plan. And the Bible is a book where God has broken through into our creation and he is revealing. This is what some call revealed religion. And they say, well, that's silly. That's crazy. No. Why would that be silly or crazy? Why is that more silly than anything else? That God would make rational creatures and that God would reveal to us in a rational form his truth in his word and provide it through the words of prophets and holy men and women. God uses the Bible as his primary revealer of truth to us. The ultimate revelation, says the book of Hebrews, of course, is Jesus himself, God coming in human form. But in terms of uh, particularized uh, prophetic revelation in written form, in scripturated form, that's what we have here. He is going to reveal truth. And then how long will he, will he be revealing it? Well, he's going to make sure that everything that is hidden will be uncovered. So what we've got going on today is really a, a massive unveiling. God is working now to reveal his truth in this world. And he's given you some pretty remarkable source material for that truth. An infallible revelation that cannot fail to meet the purpose God has for it. An inspired word that tells us the truth 100% of the time. So uh, let's pray about this today. Dear Father in heaven, we wondered what happens when you turn on the lights, when you put a light bulb in. And what happens is that you reveal truth. And we want to be ready, Lord, to receive, understand, uh, be changed and transformed by that truth, and then be part of your delivering of that truth to the world. So please, Lord, bless today and help us to be in your word so that we can receive from you what you are revealing in a very particular way to us. And we are accountable for it, but that's not a bad thing. It's a very good thing. Thank you for your truth. In Jesus' name, amen. I'd like to ask you today to make a special commitment, a special commitment to take the Bible and be in the Bible every day, reading from the Bible every day, at least a few chapters, uh, two chapters, let's say, every day or maybe more. What's going to happen when you take God's truth? I'm asking you to make that kind of a commitment today. Of course, it's between you and the Lord, but I would ask you to give thought to that and, and pray about that. And before this day is over, would you pray to God about that?